Hi, everyone. Um, this is the activity for the week you're going to be doing. And in fact, you'll be doing this for the next uh, few weeks for our ecology unit. And this is the hairling population activity. If you see on the left, this is the link. It's uh, about the size. Uh, how big would you say, Miss Engelhart? Size of a medium dog? Yep, about that. And then a hare. Um, it's just a wild type of rabbit. So there may be the size of uh, like a little chihuahua or a small cat. So there we go. Um, and these are both animals that exist in the subarctic in Canada. And we're going to play a game. So let's look at some of the rules. So the first one is the blue pieces represent the hair. And you're going to see them looking like that. It's a blue piece with a picture of the hair on it. The yellow pieces represent the link. Again, yellow piece with the link. And you notice how they moved a little faster, right? Because they're predators. I don't know if anybody caught that. See? <laughs> the hair moves slow and then the link moves fast. Okay. I must be quarantined too long. The link only have one food source, the hair. And the hair is so small, the link... Oh, I spelled link wrong there. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. fix that after. The link will respond uh, with, a f with the following actions. If the link gets three hair in a round, they reproduce. So if you see this happen, three hair and the link gets small. Then they reproduce, so you're going to add a link. If the link only get one or two hairs, so there's it getting two, there's it getting one, nothing changes. The link survives. And the last situation, kind of sad, but if the link doesn't get any hair, then they starve and die. So there, it got no hair, and bye-bye link. Goes away. And that's the rules for the link. For the hair, they have an unlimited food source. There's enough grass and everything to keep them well fed, so if any hair that doesn't get eaten, it doubles. So there's we have one hair and it grows to two. Hence the term growing like rabbits. Breeding like rabbits? Yeah, there you go. Breeding like rabbits. A couple more things we gotta look at here. We count at the end of the drop and we calculate the number of link and the number of hair after the interaction. And you'll see as we play that's how it works. When the hair are put on the board, they want to spread out, so they're not just gonna stay on top of each other. And if two link land on one hair, the first link to drop wins. So let's see how that looks. We have a hair. You got caught by a link. And remember, this link's only going to survive one hair. And then let's say another link comes along and says, hey, give me that hair. Well, he can't. It's already been eaten. So that link, unfortunately, dies and disappears. So those are the rules. Let's uh, see if we can play. So here's our game board, this orange space, and here is the numbers we start off. Now we always start off with three hair and one link. Now we'll get a little bit more into um, immigration and emigration when we talk about population uh, dynamics, which I believe is next week. But nonetheless, you're always going to have at minimum three hair and one link. So if we kill off all the hair in one round, which I think actually happens in this game, you'll notice we'll have three more hair always come back in. And if we end up with zero link, then you'll always end up with one more link in the next round. And again, we, we have an example of that happening. But let's just play the first round. So our three hair, there we go, they drop on the board. And our link goes ahead and goes hunting, and he misses. So what are we left with at the end here? Well, we have three hair left, so they double to six. And there you go. The link is zero. But one will immigrate in next round, so we have zero link. So if you see up here on the left, we now have our numbers for the first round. We're going to have six hair at the end and zero link. Let's play the next round. There's our six hair, like last round. And the link drops. All right, remember, one link immigrates. Even though it says zero link, we still got one that comes in. And, oh, wow, he caught two. Okay. I mean, I guess it's a he or she. So we'll go, she caught two. Let's go. So after the drop, we have four hair left, which double to eight. There we go. And the link caught two, so that means that link will survive. And there's our data for that round. Round two, we'll have eight hair at the end with one link surviving. Round three, oh, one of those hair decided to move as well. But still eight, if you count. And there we go. The link drops, captures two. Okay. So far, and so on. So I'm going to stop um, announcing the result after every round, and we're just going to play through and just watch the numbers as they go. And if there's anything interesting, uh, one of us will point it out. This 
So now the link caught three, so something different's going to happen with the link. That's a lot of hair, isn't it? That is a lot of hair. Hmm. So both of them had a nice, healthy meal. And there's our data. Okay, round six. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. But still lots of hair, right? Okay. And everything's just growing along nice and nice. We got 20, what, 30 hair, five link. It's good. All right, now pay, pay close attention because something very interesting is going to happen in the next couple rounds. So that blood one, one link didn't get any. Yeah. See, he's on top, right? So we'll take a look here. So first we got a double. So now there's a ton of hair on the board. But we are only going to be left with seven link because this one doubles, this one doubles, this one doubles. So that's two, four, six. This one survives. survives. I mean, I guess he could have ate that one, but I, I, I didn't count it. Okay. But this guy over here, poor fella, dropped onto a hair that was already eaten. So it dies. So that's why we only have seven at the end. And there's our data. Uh, don't worry about writing down all this data. If you have been, that's okay, but there's a chart at the end that you can just pause the video and record, and it'll be included in your uh, worksheets when we give it to you. All right. So, wow, seven, okay, so it's a big meal. So, after the drop, 46 hair. You can go ahead and count if you want. I think there's 46. I, I kind of went crazy trying to place them all and <laughs> make them work, but I think I got 46 in there. And there we go. Three link double and three survive, so we're going to be left with nine at the end. So there we go. Okay, so this is where um, it really starts to get a bit wonky here. And let's just take a look. Whole lot of Eden. At the end now, we only have 22 here. We're going to double the 22. That's actually less than it was last round. But what happens to the link population? Well, let's take a look. Still yeah. growing. It's still growing, right? So you end up getting uh, nine doublings. There was so many hair on the board that it was really hard for them to miss. So everybody got a nice full meal. But what was the impact on the hair population? It's going to be one of the questions you're going to have to answer later. And there we go. Okay, so now we're going to be dropping 18. 18 link. And there's the 18 link on the board. <laughs> That is bad for the hair. <laughs> if you ever watch Lion King, it's kind of, you know, why, uh, you know, Mufasa was always trying to control hyena, right? So um, it didn't work out very well. You had zero hair at the end. Uh, and we'll have three come in next round, but there's none left. There was a bloodbath. And it actually didn't work out too well for the link either because... You only had two link that got enough to double. I think this guy here and maybe this one down here. Uh, oh, this one dropped on that guy first. So this one and this one got a full yep. meal. Something like that. Okay, and then you had nine survive and seven die. So you had a whole bunch of these link that didn't get a meal. And they died off. And all those hair died too. I'm just showing you that there's a lot of hair under those link and that they're gonna they all die off as well. So at the end of the round, what we're left with is no hair and 13 link. So like we said, we're going to have three hair come back in, but we're going to be dropping 13 link. Well, the first three that we drop are going to probably get a meal, right? So do we want to bother dropping the other 10? What do you think? Nope. There's nothing for them to eat. Nothing for them to eat. So there's no point in dropping the rest. Everything's dead. So we know what's going to happen. And you notice here, there's so few hair. They like to spread out, right? You're never going to have the hair close enough together that one link can catch three to double. Right? That's, that's kind of how it works. There's not enough hair there for the link, for the link to uh, do anything but just survive. So after the drop, again, no hair left. Don't worry, we'll have three more come in next round. Three link survive and ten die. 
So there's our new data. Okay, the next round, we're going to drop our three. And oh, there we go. One link managed to get a meal. And one link managed to get a meal. And these two guys died off. And there we go. So at the end, we're going to two is going to double to four. And we'll be left with one link. And if you look at the data now, the simulation is reset. This is suspiciously similar to the first round, which was three and one. Everything has reset, and if we played the game again, it would just play out like we did it last time. Maybe a few different numbers in each round, but after 10, 12, 13 rounds, we'd end up with what we call a reset. We've gone back to the base numbers. And when you look at your population information, you'll notice that populations go up and they go down. They go up and they go down. And there you go, that's how we play the game. Now here's the table of value for the first 13 rounds. I've included one extra round here. I didn't bother uh, making an animation for it, but those are the 13 rounds. And that is the data you're gonna be needing to graph. So you have your round round numbers, you know, zero to six here, seven to 13 here, number of hair and number of link. Well, hopefully uh, this video was informative and had enough detail in it. If you have any questions, Feel free to ask Ms. Engelhardt or myself. Uh, Ms. Engelhardt, do you have anything to add to this that you think they should know before we stop it? No, I think that's pretty good. Perfect. Well, everyone, have a uh, wonderful time graphing this data and let us know how it goes. Bye. Bye.